What's going on, users? And welcome to a different version of my videos. So we all know a ton of people who play Minecraft. And we probably know a few people who want to play Minecraft and can't because they get a little nauseous. Uh, motion sickness and Minecraft actually happen. It goes together. And in this video, I'm going to show you some simple tricks that you can do to take care of that. So obviously, first and foremost, this does only work with Minecraft Java Edition. So if you're not playing Java, I apologize, but this is at least going to be able to take care of that. For those of you who are playing on the Java Edition, you have a friend, family member, loved one, somebody who wants to play, but maybe can't because when they start to play, they start to want to throw up. So let's dive deep into it. I'm already going to assume that you've already installed Java Edition Minecraft and you've opened it at least once. So let's get to this right. video. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do before you even open Minecraft is come over to Google Chrome or Firefox, whatever web application you're using, and you're going to need a couple of things. The very first one that you are going to need is you're going to need to go to Optifine, go to Optifine Downloads, and in Optifine Downloads, you're going to want to find the most relevant version of Optifine for you at the moment. Now, for me, we're going to be doing this in 1.19.2, so we're going to go ahead and click the download link, and you're going to get this uh, thing here about, you know, being out of date, anything else, don't worry about it. It's just an ad right here. You're gonna hit skip and there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download this and we're gonna bring that down into our download bar. The next thing that you're going to want to get is you're gonna wanna download the Faithful Texture Pack, okay? So Faithful Texture Pack right here, it's Faithful 32 by 32. Now, obviously, you're going to want to download this for the version, again, that you're using. So if you aren't in um, a specific version that you care about, whatever. But you want to come here and you want to find the most recent version that you're going to use. So we're going to come down here. We are going to find Faithful. And so here in Java Edition, we're going to find the 1.9. We're going to go ahead and download this one to our computer as well. There we go, we now have our current version of Faithful installed. So after these two pieces are done, the other thing that you can do, and this is just a, maybe you need it or maybe you don't, is you can come over here to uh, Vanilla Tweaks, and in here you can get a couple of things that are gonna help out as far as just fixes and whatnot. These are not things that you necessarily need, but it might help things go a little bit better, making your animals, mobs, that kind of things quieter. But right now we have the two parts that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of this and we are now going to open Minecraft. So after Minecraft loads and it does its updates and installations, we're gonna be presented with their main splash screen, which looks kind of like this. And we're gonna go to installations. We're gonna do a new installation. And I'm going to name this one tutorial. I recommend you naming it whatever you need. And we're gonna come down to, again, you're gonna find whatever version of Minecraft you're playing. I want this in 1.19.2, which doesn't look like I have the option to select. There it is. 1.19.2, we're gonna use the default. One of the things I do recommend is coming down here and if you have the ability to add extra space to it, I would. So right here where it says negative XMX2G, I typically change that to anywhere from four to eight, depending on what you're playing. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you want to, you can go ahead and set it a cool new icon. So there we go, we have this version now. What we wanna do is we wanna play this version. We can't do anything until we have actually loaded the game just once uh, in Minecraft. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let this prepare and actually get into the menu. All 
All right, now that we are on the splash screen, one of the first things we're gonna do is actually get rid of that red one. Okay, so now that we are actually in the game, the very first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna go to options, we're gonna hit resource packs. And as you can see, we have a couple of ones in here already. I'm gonna open the pack folder. And in this pack folder, let me get this where we can see it. We are going to bring in that one we just downloaded. So right here, we're going to take this, we're gonna cut, and we're going to paste it right into our asset folder here in Minecraft. So now when we come in here, we can see Faithful is right there. It's going to say made for a newer version of Minecraft. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to bring that over and put it in. It's because it was made for 1.19.3 and we are in 1.19.2. So this will still work in this version. Now we're going to hit done and we are going to quit the game. I know that didn't make any sense there's a reason so you remember that other folder that we just downloaded this one here the optifine so we're going to go ahead and run this and it's going to say hey we want to install it we're going to click yes install please and there it is that's it there that's all you have to do it takes literally two seconds we're going to open up our launcher again and now what we should see is once it loads us onto our splash screen we should see an installation that has the 1.19.2. So right here, Optifine 1.19.2 Optifine. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play. We understand the risks, blah, blah, blah. That's just saying, hey, wait a minute. This isn't the same version of Minecraft that we made by Mojang. There's modifications. Yes, we understand that. Yes, we're good with it. And yes, we're going to play it. Now, after the splash screen is over with the big bright Mojang letters, the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of this big red splash screen because a lot of people, that hurts their eyes, myself included. So we're going to come into options. And now a lot of this is going to look the same, except right down here, you're going to see it says modded. So we're going to go to options. We're going to go to accessibilities. And we're going to change the monochrome logo to on. That's going to make that splash screen black instead of red. We can get rid of some of the other stuff like auto jump. This is going to be something that does actually affect people with motion sickness. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to video settings. And in video settings, we're going to do a couple of changes. The first thing I always recommend is changing your max frame rate down to about 120. You really don't need it, anything over that. We're going to get animations and we're going to turn them either to all off. Or we're going to do particles minimal. And the big one is right here. Portal animated. You want to turn that off. Because the biggest one I've noticed for creating motion sickness is this animated portal swirl when you're going through them. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. After that, we can start doing some of the other stuff. For instance, quality. You can make sure that that's the way you want it. Performance. You can set up your render options. None of this is things that you actually have to do while you're actually playing the game. These are all things that you can change as you wanted to. So other things that we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're just going to look at some of the other things that we can change here. View bobbing. Turn that off. I know it doesn't make sense, but turn it off because of bobbing. What it's going to do is it's going to make your player bounce up and down when you're walking. If you turn it off, it doesn't have that. And again, it gives you a little bit better of an experience for somebody who is currently uh, getting motion sickness from playing this game. So we've got bobbing off. We got in the performance. We can do renders, fast renders, fast mass, smooth world, all that stuff. Quality is where your emission textures, better grass, custom model densities. You can turn dynamic field of view on or off, which is what it's going to look like when you're flying based off of when you're walking. Um, so we've got all of that stuff down. Now we're going to hit done. The last setting that we are going to actually play with on this is field of view. We're going to take that up to 80. And we're going to hit done. And we're going to go ahead and load this world. Let's see. Um, let's create a new world. We're going to name this a test world. 
All right, so we are in our brand new world here on the game. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to fly ourselves out to an area that maybe is a little bit better as far as, here we go, we can go down here. There we go. So already you can see there's some difference here. We're not moving and bouncing around quite as much. If I were to go over to video settings and do details, if I were to turn bobbing on now, we're going to notice that there's like some bounce to it. And I'm sure the people who are motion sick now watching this are already feeling the effects. So we're going to turn view bobbing off. Now, the other thing that this takes care of is your portals. So like I was talking about the portal frames, we're going to go ahead and create a really quick portal. One, two, three. Because one of the things I've definitely noticed, and I, I say this because my wife actually experiences motion sickness, is these portals hurt her eyes. They give you that nausea effect. So you can do that. And look at that. No nausea except when we're coming through and that is something we can actually take care of in here as well so we come to animations and we want portal particles off and we want let me see here Distortion effects off. So distortion effects now, when I come through the portal, no more of that goofy nausea thing. You're just in a portal, and that's it. So hopefully this makes your life a little bit easier. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you're not already subscribed and this video has helped you, Please do consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and we'll see you next time. I'm Diamond Doozer. I'm out. Thanks, guys. Bye.